If you're watching this back this video, I'm live streaming it on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash the code at 2015. So I'm sure it'll make a video, but let's have a look what type of blood this is supposed to be. I can hear the fan spinning, so it's probably going to be a lung. That's not a blood. What? That's a white light of death. Hmm. That is not a blood, that is a white light of death. Do we get a display with the HDMI tester? We do, but we get only two data lines. We have a broken HDMI port. Can we get them all? No. Broken HDMI port. It's not a white light. It's not a blue light of death. It's white light. Uh, okay. So this was marked as a blue light of death, but yeah, that's stuck in safe mode as well. So yeah. All right. Well, let's. Uh... Sort out the HDMI port on it. It's just been marked in. It's just been booked in wrong by the look of it. All right, well, that's good because, honestly, I hate Blue Light of Death on the PS4s, to be honest with you. I really do. Because they don't normally end well. I don't generally use the electric screwdriver on these because, number one, the cases are fragile as hell, and number two, it's not that difficult to get into, unlike the PS5 and Series X. Try and keep the screws separate if I can because it just makes it easier for reassembly. There's like five different, six different screws in these. How hard is it to get into the PS4 Slim? Uh, pretty easy, to be fair. The the main thing you got to remember is you got the small screws. So these really small screws here, uh, depending on the revision, they go in the top here. They go there, and then there's another revision where they go in there. But then this revision's got two black screws there, and then the small four small screws there and there, like two there, two there. And then these longish silver screws, well, the mid-sized silver screws, go around the edge of the board. So they only go uh, there, 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 not that one. Uh, they actually, well, these ones are the ones that screw into the plastic frame. That's the easiest way to explain it. So if you've got, if you've got no thread on this middle one, then you put a black screw in it because the black screws are the ones that go into the metal chassis. The silver screws are the ones that go into the frame. That's why they're longer. And also a little bit thicker as well. And then the black screws go into the inner part of the housing. It's, it's not difficult once you've done a few of them and you get used to the screw locations. But once you get used to the screw layout, it, it's fairly straightforward. And also this as well. Don't lose it because you'll have a screw left over that won't go in. Okay, so what is wrong with my HDMI port? It looks like it's snapped on the back pins. So it's difficult to see these just because of the layout of them, but the back pins have come off the... Uh... the actual HDMI port. So it looks like it might have... It might just be a case of someone's pushed it in too, uh, too hard. You know, the cause it to damage it. So you can see how that is on a slant there. Looks like someone's pushed the plastic back um, when they've put the port in. So that's why we're getting no display look, because they're all whamboozled. Yeah. 
So the HDMI encoder should be fine. It's just going to be a port issue. So it was reported as a blue light of death, but meh. It looks factory. <laughs> well, technically it is. This is a factory port. Let's remove this conductive foam. Otherwise, it's going to smell. Get off of my board. Rehot the port. Press and hold and done. Jobs are good one. It's only beautiful. Well, it's about to be more beautiful, but it's only beautiful. It took you about three hours of practice, mate. That's all it takes. Honestly. I don't have no Magic technique, let's put it that way. Now it's even more beautiful. To be fair, I do make it look a little bit easier than it actually is. But oh, I've done thousands of them. Like it's not, it's not exactly like I'm new to it. You know, it's it just comes down to experience. You don't need to mess around when it comes to the HDMI port. All you need to do is heat up from the bottom, pull the old port off, put a bit of flux on, pull the old port off, uh, reat in the joints. Heat it from the bottom again, drop the port on, and 9 times out of 10, you're going to get a perfect connection without even having to touch it up. The only reason that I touch it up is because I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to the solder joints. I like them all to be even. That's the only reason. You don't have to. But I didn't have to touch those joints up then. They were all soldered. I could see there was enough solder on them. But it just comes down to practice. Look for any bridges. And I know that there's going to be enough solder on them joints. 100%. So I don't need to do the nudge test. But I will anyway. You're not going to see all of these pins. Yep, they're all solid. We are good to go. And look at that. She's beautiful. So I'll tell you one pet peeve of mine, when people try and clean the heat sink out by taking this plate off. That fan's got a carpet in it. Nah, that's Travis's mom's bush. Right, you get a basic service with every console repair. You don't get a deep clean. You just get the vents cleaned out, they get the fan cleaned out, and that is it. 
poor Travis. Nah, he loves it. <laughs> he loves it. Thermal paste porn. And because this is a PS4 Slim, and they are quite old now, we'll check the battery for the CMOS. Why well, you want AC voltage? Go away. 3.06 volts. Yeah, that's fine. Absolutely fine. It will last a while yet. Uh, last thing to do, just clean out the inside of the port. A bit of IPA. Uh, I've done it myself. Is that heating aluminium or steel? Uh, the heating itself is aluminium, but the plate is steel on these. So this part here is steel, but then underneath is the uh, aluminium part. Oh, that was the perfect amount of thermal paste as well. See, I told you guys not to do it, and I did it myself. So liquid metal is a possibility. No, no, it's not. Not on these. Not unless you upgrade it to a copper heatsink. There you go. Get rid of those ones. Testy. Nah, where's the fun in that, mate? I already knew it was a HDMI port, mate, just based on what the HDMI tester said, so... And plus, I, it was it was working when I was wiggling the port and giving it a connection, so it's fine. It'll be alright. Na 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 na. No screw left behind. No screw left behind. Yeet. No screw left behind. Don't tell me I forgot to plug the ribbons in. No! I forgot to plug the power ribbon in. Damn it! No screw left behind. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I always do that. <laughs> I'll learn one day. I will learn one day. Don't worry. There we go. And there we go. Right, those data lines I'll come back on in a minute once it's booting up. My MVQ's in the post. <laughs> what what's the MVQ? Not very qualified. <laughs> there we go. Um
Got white light. And yeah, we go in display. Cool. Let's just make sure. <gasps> Ugly cam. Not very qualified. Console fixed. Oh, thank God they don't play FIFA. Whew. There we go. Job done. Working. Happy days. Anyway, yeah, nice and easy. Not bad. I'll take it. Jobs are good and winner, winner. Yeah, so that HDMI test come in clutch. Told me exactly what was wrong with the console before they even took it apart, which is pretty sweet.